Peace. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Jay Everyday. And this post is going to be um, what I'm going to call low hanging fruit. And the reason why it's called low hanging fruit is because it's something simple and it's easy to create a um, narrative about it but I'm gonna tell you about the mind fuck behind it okay you have these um, these two women one at Yale University and the other woman at a park who proceeded to call the cops on two people who were both black and um, one person at Yale it was a person who was sleeping in a commons room and the other issue was um, the person was barbecuing at a park Now here's the funny part about both of those. Everybody is screaming racism, racism, racism. I'm going to tell you what it really is. I think it's more, it might have a tinge of, you know, bigotry in it. But let me, let me ask you a fact. Let me ask you something about both of these women. Or let me point out an observation, not ask anything. Both of these women were fat, out of shape, probably single, and they were miserable fucking people. And one of the great statements of all time is misery loves company. Because if you ever notice, a female who's hit the wall, who doesn't have a man, and who's out of shape, is just a fucking miserable human being. Because if you just look at every time you see somebody in the news that's a woman that's complaining, more times than not, she's out of shape and she's miserable and she's hit the wall. Now, when you see attractive women or women who are moderately good looking and have men and all of that do that, the majority of time is you're either just a piece of shit or it's a hustle and that's the, the short end of it so while all of these people are up arms and oh she's a racist and all of this and all of this that's if she was attractive and you know had her shit together she wouldn't have called the cops Oh, and let's talk about the same thing about the woman in San Francisco. The same thing with her, too. You probably saw some nice, attractive black women. And you might have just decided to call the fucking cops on them. But here's why I'll give the woman in San Francisco a pass. In my neighborhood, some black people I ain't never seen before, even if it was some white people I've never seen before. If I've seen you leaving out of a neighbor's house that I don't know, I might call the cops. 
that doesn't necessarily mean that it can be something illegal. And let me even take it a step further. This shit about, um, and this happened a while ago, this shit with Henry Gates. And he was breaking into his own house. I don't blame the cop for arresting his ass for a couple of reasons. Let me give them to you. How is that cop supposed to know that you're not, you and your wife aren't separated and you might be breaking in the house to do something fucked up? Number two, how am I supposed to know as a cop what the fuck you got going on with your house? So guess what? I'm going to arrest your punk ass too for breaking into a house because I don't know because guess what? Say I don't know you're Henry Gates. Say you break into a house or say you're in the house hiding out waiting for your wife to come home and you blow her fucking brains out. Guess who, who that's going to be on if I leave you in that house. So I just wanted to get that point out there real quick. But getting back to these uh, to these women, these sloppy ass women who's calling the cops on people. As a citizen and as a civilized person, if you see somebody breaking the law, you're supposed to call the cops on. That's not snitching. That's doing your fucking civic duty. And while everybody has issues with the cops or whatever the case may be, if you're breaking the law, you're supposed to get the fucking cops called on you. Now, if you're not breaking the law, and somebody calls the cops on you. Number one, I'm not going to argue with the police because more times than not, a cop is just basically doing their fucking job. And what is arguing with the police going to do for you if somebody is called the cops on you over the police? Number two, I'm going to keep my calm and ask the cop, well, who called the cops? Cop don't want to tell you there's no use of arguing with the cop. But if the cop and the person who called them got enough nuts to stand there, I'm clowning you right in front of the cops. See, this lady is so, the lady who got the cops called on her was so up in arms and was racism, racism, racism. You didn't really get a chance to cuss out the chick who called the cops on you seven ways from Sunday. You call the cops on me and I know I didn't break the law and I'm in the right and all my shit is correct. I'm clowning you. I'm doing a five minute routine right there in front of the cops on you. And see, before everybody always is quick to say some shit about, oh, the cop shit that did this, the cop shit that did this. You don't know what's in someone's heart when you're dealing with a complete stranger. The only thing you can do, the only thing you can do is appeal to their logic. That's why the first thing I'm doing is I'm clowning her in front of the cops. You see, most people don't like that shit. And most people want to just racism, 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 racism. No, I'm going to cut you down just based on logic. See, everybody is so quick to attribute everything to racism. Sometimes somebody just, for lack of a better word, is just an ignorant fuck. 
And like I said, with these two issues with these women, it's like I said, they're fat, they're out of shape, they're single, they don't have a man. And so they're miserable. Because they're miserable, they want to pick at the low-hanging fruit because that's the easiest fruit to pick from. And I don't have nothing to do with my life, so I'm so concerned about what everybody else is doing. You know, here's a black person sleeping in the commons room. Let me take the time out my day to call the cops. I wish it would have been me. I would have did a whole routine on her. the cops. I would have had the cops dying and laughing. See, understand something. You have people out here who are miserable. They're in a fixed mindset. They're not growing. They're not evolving. They're not striving for any type of perfection or any type of direction in their life where they're moving forward. They're not stagnated or just standing still. And because you have these people out here, they feel it's their duty to fuck with everybody else. Because like I said, look at somebody whose life is evolving or moving as opposed to somebody whose isn't. And I'll show you a miserable piece of shit. And that's it. And that's all I had to say about that shit. It is what it is. This is Jay every day, and I'm out.